All right, so we are recording. Welcome everyone, welcome to our team training for the week. I am gonna dive straight into our training uh, tonight because I, I, there's a couple of things that I wanna talk about um, at this point in time. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of um, self-doubt creeping into a few of us at the moment, so we're gonna touch on that. I can pick up on that energy. Um, but I want to talk about, you know, cramping out um, self-doubt and allowing your positivity to become louder in this business. Because, I mean, let's be honest, we are not going to be upbeat and feeling aligned and on purpose 110% of the time, right? I want you to know that it is completely normal to feel a little bit lackluster at times. You're normal, Okay. Um, I'm also going to talk about, you know, you know, because we can never really talk about them enough in this business, our high paying daily activities. So our daily method of operation, our DMOs that you hear us refer to them as. So sometimes, you know, we overcomplicate what we're doing. Um, when we do the same thing and they're quite simple steps over and over and over again, um, often we think that we, we're not doing enough or we, we start to complicate it and we start to, you know, tweak things because we think it should be harder. This is actually a very simple business. So we're going to be coming back to basics and just reiterating those high paying activities once again. Um, firstly, though, I want to touch on this um, and you'll hear Adam say it as well, but there are two reasons why people quit this business, right? They forget why they started. Your why that desire and I know all of your stories in this team. I know them all and I know why you're here and each of you have such a strong why. If you're feeling like you're just drifting around in this, I want you to take a moment, you know, tonight, before you go to bed tonight, to reflect on, you know, even your very first conversation with me um, or your upline and really acknowledge why you said yes to this because that is your fuel in this. If you want to actually make this happen, um, you know, you can feel that through your veins. It ignites excitement for the future. And that's the feeling that you need to tap into daily to stay consistent in this business and just not let the opportunity pass you by. That feeling is so important because it pulls you into action. So if you ever wonder why, you know, we get Kira doing so much training on self-development, on belief, on those mission statements and those goal settings, it's because that is the glue that holds all of this together. And if you don't give it even just a little bit of attention, you know, for me, I do five to six times a week, I give it attention. I check in with myself every morning before I start my day. You know, yes, you're going to start, you know, if, if you're not doing that, you're going to start driving in a direction, um, you know, completely off track from where you set out to be. In saying that though, guys, you don't need hours of coaching on this every week. You don't need some massive emotional shift to take place to be successful in this business. 10 minutes a day to remind yourself of your values, your superpowers, your vision, those thoughts and feelings in that space they send the electricity through your entire body and they give off that energy, okay? And that's not just hippie talk, guys. That's going within. It's like plugging yourself into a PowerPoint when you check in with yourself. You're just energy. We're all just balls of energy. Your bodies have cells spinning around like crazy. So take the guesswork out of your future and start to take control of what's going up here for a couple of minutes each day, okay? Now, the second reason people don't stick to this and stay consistent is that they've lost the vision of what this can be for them. They're confused. They're not sure what they're doing or where they're at. They don't know what step they're at, um, what they should be doing. They're just focusing on every no that they've had instead of maybe the one customer that they got. So tonight I'm coming back to basics and I want you to take a moment to, you know, just if you've got a pen and a paper in your hands at the moment right now, put it down. I just want you to relax tonight. Donna's laughing at me. But I just want you to take a deep breath in, all right? Don't be feeling tense and on the edge of your seat waiting for that golden nugget for me to drop tonight. That's the missing piece of your puzzle. 
lose that, lose any desperation, lose any neediness of, you know, wanting success right now and just have a moment to yourself. You know, sit tall wherever you are, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw and just be grateful for today, okay? The fact that you're on this call right now, you know, don't worry if I can see you've got kids climbing over you, let them, put your earphones in, play with them while you're doing this, soak it in, it's all good. We do a lot of training in this business on moving forward, on the next step, the next level, the next promotion, the next customer, the next teamy. And we do that train, training to keep you guys growing and progressing, inspired and, and creating success in this. But if you don't acknowledge your sheer magnitude already of what you've already done in this business and what you're capable of, and I'm talking to each of you right now, if you don't acknowledge just, you know, how damn well you are all doing and show gratitude for what you've already done in this, then you're never going to be pleased. For new and wonderful things to enter your life, you need to be grateful for what you do have and in this business, what you have done right now already. Each of you is an ambassador and you have started your own business within the last 12 months. Each of you is taking one of the world's best nutritional support products on the market that is improving your health. You are a partner and a registered franchisee of the world's most researched whole food nutritional company. You've been upskilling, you've been training, you've been learning about social media, programs, products, stepping out of your comfort zone, getting out there, talking to people, getting on these video calls in less than 12 months of a new business, for some of you in less than a month, in less than six months. You know, some of you may have just started in the last few weeks and you're getting to know our company, our program, you're being resourceful, you're finding stolen moments to do this. You're navigating through the 10,000 groups that we put you in and you're piecing it together, together. Some of you have just got your first ever customer. Do you just know how amazing that is? I want you guys to really get this tonight. Some of you have been planting seeds month after month with potential customers and ambassadors, teamies, you know, and you've got their attention whether you know it or not. Some of you have got one customer. Some of you have got five. Some of you have got 10. Some of you got six in the last four weeks and picked up a teamie. Okay, whatever it is, I want you guys to stop comparing and start realizing what you have done so far in your businesses. You know, have you really stopped and taken a moment more than just the initial kind of quick thrill of five minutes after you've signed a customer up and gone, yeah, cool. Have you given yourself that pat on the back? Every connection, every conversation, every no that you get, you know, it's a massive win in this business and I really think you need to celebrate those wins more and perhaps stop being so hard on yourself in this business. I'm getting a few nods right now. You know, if you've been feeling like a failure in this, if you're hanging around in that space where you're thinking, yeah, I'm just winging it, I'm just going to do it for a few more months and see how it all goes, then... Pull yourself out, reverse from that state right now and kick it back into drive. At this point in a business, it's usually when self-sabotage will surface. Guys, we are on the cusp of new things and we start to pull back because we're starting to feel uncomfortable and comfort is an easier option. But I'm going to ask you, is staying where you are right now going to ignite that, that masterpiece life that you said yes to in the first place? Each and every one of you has the power to make this business the rocket or ticket to your freedom in a few years. But be proud of where you are at right now. Sometimes, and I'll be honest, I wish this business didn't have um, promotion titles. Because people think that if I don't get to these points or that point within that time frame, I'm done. I'm a failure. Everyone else seems to be doing it except me. 
you know, I knew I couldn't do this. Gosh, I'm silly to even think I could. But the reality is those promotions are there purely just for some enticement and excitement. There's some icing on the cake. They're not the make and break in this business. You get a restart every 12 months if you want it anyway. You just need to pull yourself out of that poor me mind game and shift things up a gear and really start to acknowledge your greatness, ladies. To be running this business in addition to your life at this very moment, and I know a lot of you have got so much going on, it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing to everyone around you watching you, including me. So don't let yourself be the last person to realise that. You know, when you, when you own this and when you open up yourself and your own mind, when you pick yourself up on the shitty days, the shitty weeks, the shitty months, and say, no, you know, this isn't spiralling into my own pity party again for the next few weeks. I'm pulling myself out of this now. When you do that, your energy will just skyrocket, you know, and that will be so attractive to your loved ones around you yourself and the bonus is when you feel great you're like a bloody magnet in this business suddenly people can pick up on your energy through a social media post or through a quick wave at the gym or through a quick conversation at the coffee shop through a quick phone call they can pick up on your energy and that is gold in this business ladies it really is so hard for most people you know to believe that we get paid to talk to people in this business and to feel great. And that sounds too good to be true. And that's why most people give up in this because they believe, you know, they don't believe that they can do it. They don't believe in the residual income of this business that can unlock the long-term freedom if you can do this consistently for a couple of years. You know, we seem to work 40 hours a week for someone else and we do it. We get 52 weeks of the year and someone else will say, you can only holiday for four weeks of that and we do it. When the reality is spending even just five, three to five hours a week on this consistently, week in and week out for two to three years, it can propel you forward like no other business model can. And the proof is there. You guys hear the stories every week. All right, so really acknowledge that and start to build your belief and own this. So my takeaway, number one takeaway for the night is make your positivity louder than your self-doubt. Okay? Know that the self-doubt and I don't know if this is for me, those thoughts are normal. You're not crazy. You're not the first person in this business to feel that. And I want you to normalize that now. I have them. I have them weekly, guys. Usually it's every Sunday for me for some reason. I'm trying to pick myself up as to why that is. But I know how to pull myself out of that state on a Monday morning. And the more I seem to do it, the easier and the quicker it's becoming for me to snap out of it. I know my mechanism. I know, I know the strategy to pull myself back into alignment now. My morning rituals for me, meditate, listen to the voice recording of my mission statement, have a quick skim of my vision board, work out. 20 minutes, I'm done. Know what your mechanisms are to pull yourself out of that state. Don't wait for them. Don't wait for the magic moment to happen. You need to take action within yourself to pull yourself out of that state. Some people find, um, uh, I had this chat for a lady the other day, painting their nails of an evening. It's like meditation with movement. You know, it was just like every stroke, I just, it, it silences my mind and it reminds me, it pulls me back onto my purpose and my values, you know? So have a think of what it is for you. What pulls you back into that, that zone? You know, some people love to, do some gardening every afternoon or just, you know, water the yard. That's their five minutes of meditation with movement. Some people get out their yoga mat and they stretch their body. Um, some people get a chair and they just sit in the sun. Some people need to be around animals. Whatever your go-to is, know it and know when you need to use it. Okay? 
Takeaway number two for tonight. What are the activities that I should be doing consistently, daily, to create success and really trust that they are going to pay off for me? All right? We talk about these over and over, and I don't think you can talk about them enough. All right? So as I said, sometimes we overcomplicate this business because we feel the steps are too easy and we must be missing something. No. All right? Number one. Connect with people. Check in with people that you know. Reignite old conversations. Connect with new people if you're ready to start expanding new people in person and via social media. Chat with them. You know, you're all women that have been on this earth for several decades. You know how to talk. Don't get scared. Get excited to meet new people. You know, if you're going to an event, don't just go and sit and hide in the corner. Socialize, have a bloody champagne and talk to people. Once you've got chatting and the reality is 99% of the time in conversations with people that either, you know, we know, we know of, they're an acquaintance or they're someone completely new, I'll tell you right now that 99% of the time, three things will come up in those conversations. Work, family, health. It's almost a given, all right? You're going to ask them, they're going to ask you. That's your chance to dig deeper and see whether you can actually help them if they've given you some indicators that they are in a little bit of pain by asking some high-quality questions. You know, if you, if you genuinely ask them enough questions about them, and take that, that curious interest and build connection with them, you're going to be able to identify whether they're in some pain and they need some help. There's no guesswork in that. If you ask the right questions, you will know. And Linda's training on asking the right questions has perfect ideas. Let me know if you need that training and I'll tag you in it. But let me also tell you now, that you already know how to ask questions, you do. And when you ask them with some subtle confidence, you're also building trust, all right? Once you've done that and you've like, hold on a minute, they've given me some, some little red flags here where they need some help. They've either touched on health or they've touched on they're feeling a little bit of a lack of freedom in the financial department or they, they want to do some more traveling or they're feeling a bit of pressure at the moment or she doesn't want to go back to work. You know, you've, you've identified that you might have a solution to their problem. Resist the urge now to talk about facts, science, cellular health, peer-reviewed studies of Juice Plus products. Save it. I know that is great gold, but just save it. You've identified they're in a bit of pain. So share your story just like you would in a normal conversation. It's almost like we're learning to talk again, isn't it? But we're sharing our story to relate to them. And if your story in particular doesn't relate to them, borrow someone else in our community. And again, we've done completely separate training on sharing your story, knowing what to include, how to do that with ease, grace and flow and drop in a few key messages there. If you need that training, please let me know. So for example, a customer, you know, you, you've spoken to them, instead of telling them about the peer reviewed studies and that they should take Juice Plus, no one wants to be sold anything. Just relate to them and make them feel normal. Like you do. You guys do this. You're good women. You do it. Don't question that. I felt the same, hun. You know, I, I did have low energy and I was lacking some motivation. You know, I felt like I was eating okay, but I just wasn't getting anywhere. I was sick of that fuzzy feeling in the morning. But when I learned about, you know, this online program, the JBT program from a friend who was on it, and I saw her results, you know, I decided to take a look at it. We've only been doing it for a few months, but gosh, I'm feeling bloody incredible. 
haven't picked up a cold, I'm bouncing out of bed, I'm even doing a few more workouts at home, doing some extra walks or stretch classes, hubby's enjoying the meals, kids are having green smoothies. So you can see how you can weave that in as you naturally would. If you're interested, you know, I've become an ambassador for this program. I love it so much. I can share more about it with you if you want. It's generally easier just to jump on a quick call with my friend who got me started on it because there's a few different programs and, op and options. You know, I'm happy to tee it up if you want. Get them on a call. Tick, your job's done. Okay, so don't overcomplicate those first few steps. Once you've listened to your upline on a customer call, I'd say three times, I kind of expect that you guys can do those calls on your own. All right, we ask the same questions every time. We have scripts if you want them or you need them or you want to get better at them, just start popping a few more customers in front of me. I'm, I'm here and I'm ready for you. All right? If it's a teamy and know the difference between a teamy and a customer, two completely different conversations from the outset initially. You know, if a teamy, they've, they've dropped in in that conversation that they're in a bit of pain and they could do with some help, don't start talking about dollars. Talk about vision. How do we do that? Share your story with the business spin on it. You know, we were looking for some additional income you know, to travel or pay off the house sooner just to get ahead or just to take some pressure off us at the moment. And when I heard there was a business behind the health program I was on, I was so excited because it really connected all of the dots for me. I get to work from home, in and around the kids or in addition to my full-time job. I just work online and use social media for business now. We've got an empowering bloody community of ladies as well. We're having a bit of fun. You'd be freaking awesome at it. You know, you should take a look at it if you can. All right? Or if, you know, we're looking for the additional income, we were, we were keen to kick off a bit of a side hustle. One of my friends was creating some great success through her health and wellness business. And she was a mum from home and I could just see what she was doing. In stolen moments, in and around the kids. I was definitely pretty sceptical at first, but when we did take a good look, it was a really cool opportunity. We've been doing it for a few months now and it's been pretty amazing. Sing out if you want to take a look at it. I'm happy to share it with you. Just talk the way you guys normally talk. Add your flavor. Add your tone. Don't be scared to stuff it up because you won't say anything at all. Okay? If you get a yes, yes, great. Don't jump in their inbox or in their face saying you're going to be the best ever at this, you're going to lose 15 kilos in four weeks. No, again, play it cool, take a step back. Save your excitement. I know it's exciting and it's, it's really hard to do. But if a customer has said yes, let's jump on a quick call. It's easier for me to explain, I'll get my friend who introduced me to this on the call so she can explain it to you and answer any questions. Okay? If they are hesitant to get on a call, I have that backup material, all right? But I really want the focus to be getting them on the calls at the moment because I feel like that's getting a little bit lost and, and, and kind of hazy as to what I send them and what shouldn't I send them. Come back to basics, jump on a call. If someone specifically says, no, I can't, send me something, I'll send them either the customer order form or my own program product video link that I've done up. You guys have access to that. Okay, but really try and jump on the call if you can. And again, your job is done. You've connected, you've asked questions, you've identified if you can help them, you've given them a solution and they've accepted it. And that's all you need to know right now. All right, don't overcomplicate it. Don't, don't question every word or spend hours writing messages. Keep it short, to the point. You're a good person. You're a great friend. You're a great new connection. Own that. Your job's not to convince people, you know? 
you've got the gift. It's to share what we're up to. And if they feel that they want the help, not everyone wants help. They want to stay in their pain story. The time might not be right. That's okay. But if they feel an inkling of fire, they are going to be so thankful that you took an interest and you wanted to help them. It's what we're born. That's what humans do. We, we help each other, right? But know that not everyone is going to say yes. We know that. You guys all know that now. Learn how to handle your objections. And again, another training that Linda did just last week in Team Freestyle, let me know if you want me to tag you in it, is specifically on handling objections. Because some might say no for now. Great, pop them in your spreadsheet, it's a no for now. Don't burn bridges, keep loving on them, keep commenting, keep taking an interest. Some will give you a straight out, no, not interested. Good, great. They don't want the help, fine, move on. Some will say, I don't think I have the time or I don't think I could do what you do on social media. It looks good, but I, I don't think it's for me. And that right there, I love. I look at that as the best challenge to be given because they're giving you an in. They don't believe it yet. They don't have the vision. Okay, so again, I'm not going to go into how to do that. That's a completely different training. You don't need guys to hunt down, you know, every single, I feel like a few of you have been in this for a bit and you feel like I've asked everyone on my list. I don't know anyone else. All right, please know that you're not in this to hunt down every family member and every friend that you have. You know, often in this business for the first few months, we start off and the first few orders genuinely are family and a couple of close friends and you've signed them up, which is great. All right, but often that can work in the opposite way because you've started this business getting a couple of customers because you've told them to and they've done what you've said. But you'll learn pretty quickly that not everyone will say yes just because you told them to and you're going to burn some bridges, all right? That was luck. You can learn that the hard way if you don't have your radars on in this training. Master the art of the questions, stories, calls and events, okay? But as I said, don't try and get caught up with connecting with the same people over and over just a few months apart. Spread your wings further afield and expand your potentials, your hit list. I hate that word, but I'm going to call it that. New people, new connections. You used to have to do that in this business, getting out of the house and going places. Now you can do that sitting on your couch in your pajamas with a glass of wine. Start networking. Making new connections. I can see you all laughing at me. I hope you're laughing with me. Making new connections with like-minded people. Start having the conversation. Start, you know, adding new friends, liking, following, commenting on their content. If you did that for 20 minutes every day with new people, boom, your potential list would be huge within the next month. Jump into groups at things you're interested in. Doesn't all need to be food, fitness, gym, gardening, reading, library, council activities, art, craft, things that you're interested in that you've got natural things to talk about with like-minded people. There's millions of groups out there, millions of people at your fingertips. So when someone tells me that they don't know enough people, it's usually a sign that they're not going out there and finding new people to chat with. Get in there, start taking action. And you know what? You're gonna make some bloody good friends along the way, which is kind of cool. Once again, social media, perfect opportunity to attract new people. We've done a completely separate training on that. Please let me know if you need me to tag you in that. But I want to reiterate tonight, don't get so worried about doing the wrong thing because you'll end up doing nothing at all. Don't go through every past conversation and look for errors where you stuffed up or that you cringe at. 
If that's how you're going to run this business, you're going to be doing that in two years' time. You're learning, you're growing, you're picking up new skills every month. Imagine what you'll be like even at the end of this year if you keep up with this. The training, the high-paying activities, loving and congratulating yourself, disciplining the no's. Immersing yourself in this community where we thrive on, on growth and, and progress, keeping each other accountable, giving you guys access to some of the best and most successful business people in this profession. I want you guys to really be proud and I want you to stand tall and I want you to start taking your business seriously. Add your flavour, add your voice. Add your words. Be grateful for any mistakes that you think that you've made and you're pondering and you're going over and over in your head about them. We all have those moments, okay? My mistake yesterday, because I had 10 different hats on being school holidays and I thought, I can do this, I can juggle it. Now I'm going to put my 10 hats on doing 5 million things. And I was jumping on a new call saying hello to a Sally when her name was Jane and I think I finished off calling her Mary when I said goodbye because I was rushed and I was wearing five hats at once and I cringed at myself. But then I started laughing. There was a lesson in that for me, right? I had a bit of a joke with her after it, but at the time I could have just like wished the earth had swallowed me up. So my last takeaway for tonight is if you are feeling lost in this business, in the actual business, in the numbers, if you don't know how many customers or team you need to get, if you are looking for that promotion or you want to map out how many conversations you should be having over the next, say, 30 days to hit some sort of financial goal before conference, come at me. Send me a message. I'll crunch the numbers for you in five minutes. Let's get clear. There's no guesswork in this, all right? We've got averages. We know we can calculate how many conversations you should be having. But don't wait for me to tell you that. I'm not here to pressure you. I'm not here to ride you. I'm not here to, you know, chase you down and hunt you down. Be resourceful. The most resourceful person leans on their leader come to me and say, how many points am I away from a promotion? How many customers would I need to get there? Because that's going to dictate your high paying activities. I would want to ensure though, before you did that, that you're already plugging into Monday night training regularly. Because we go over these steps each and every week. That you've watched the new Manny Chat Start Strong system at least the first three videos in that if you're new or three to seven if you've been here for a while because I can't make you successful. That's your choice. I want you to be, but I can't run your business. I believe in you, but you need to believe in you too. And if you don't believe in you right now, then borrow my belief for now. Okay, that's fine because it's pretty damn strong and I've got some to lend you. But I really want each of you to know that you're rocking this. I want to see you guys at conference. I want to be there and have the biggest group hug in a non-weird way ever. So if you've got, you know, you're kind of saying to me, I want to pay for my flights. I want to try and have some accommodation sorted. What do I need to do this month? Because next payday is going to be a month before conference. Let's get it cracking along know exactly what you need to be doing. We're going to go to conference as a team, as sidelines, not uplines and promotions. We're going together. You know, we're one in this and conference is in Melbourne, 14th and 15th of June. All right, we're on the Thursday night. We're going to try and have a bit of a sunset drink exclusively just for our Project Blossom ladies and some nibbles. So I want you guys to be there. Once again, if you hit your next promotion in the business, you're going to get a free ticket to conference. Even better, right? They'll reimburse you after it. Okay? 
We'll get yourself three new customers this month, bingo. Start standing tall. I want you to start using your voice. I want you to be loud and proud with elegance and the intelligence that you have. And you can do both gracefully. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the training tonight. We're not gonna be having training next Thursday before Easter, so it will be about a fortnight away. But I encourage you, even though there are people on holidays at this time of year, a lot of them are a lot more open and have a little bit more time to take a look at something like this. So don't think that people are, oh, they're all in Easter phase now, no one wants to hear from me. From a business level, there's a lot of people looking at this time of year. They've worked January, February, March. They're starting to get a little bit lackluster and realize, is this really what I want to do? Perfect time to start talking about business opportunities at this time of year. Perfect time to start talking about energy, health, vitality as we come out of the back end of Easter and have another eight-week shred. It's all there for you. So please lean on me if I can help you in any way. Um, please let me know if you want me to tag you in any of the trainings that I have referred uh, to tonight. And I can certainly help you guys. Let me just have a quick look in this chat. Perfect. I will tag you in Donna and Kel. Stay on the line here. I'm just going to hit stop recording and we're going to have a chat. So I hope you enjoy, guys. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Have a wonderful end to the week and own it and be loud and proud. Talk soon. Bye.